Oh oh. Winner winner chicken dinner. So. Yeah. Don't be deceived by the nice looking weather. It's actually really cold. This morning we're gonna finish cleaning out a wheat bin we started doing yesterday. Which means I need to get my mask on. These masks were like the greatest purchase of our lives. Just saying. I got most of it done yesterday. We just had to let the piles go through. I didn't realize I didn't film any of that, but we got the bin cleaned out and it's ready for next year. This year? Oh, I guess this year, yeah. Agenda for today is some annual maintenance on the 8R. Uh, we have two 8Rs that we have to do. This one will probably take us all day though. Um, it's the one that needs like the most work done. That's why we change that one every year. Jeez. So that's the cab one? Yeah, so that's the one that sucks the very inside the cab. So it goes yeah. like that? Yeah. Which one's next? There's one underneath that panel up there. We just took the tire off real quick so we can change the oil, right? Yeah, the hub oil. The hub oil, so not me. So there's a gear that comes out in the center here. Yeah. And then there's three gears here. And there's an oil bath uh, to keep them cool and lubricated. And that's how it drives the front axle. So you just gotta change that. Yeah. Cool. What do they do with old oil? I don't know what they do. This is really thick oil. Hashtag farmer on the phone. I am so hungry right now. Okay, we just finished putting new oil into here. Then we'll move over and do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, I am done helping dad for the afternoon. It's like four o'clock, which means I have to go in and get ready for work because um, I'm milking cows tonight. So I left my camera with dad. Hopefully he remembers to turn off the time lapse I have going on there. Okay, since Jess is going off to work at the dairy farm and I'm here by myself, I just changed the diesel fuel filters for the tractor. Uh, these newer tractors, what's nice about them is that they're self-priming. So on some of the older tractors, if you get air in the system, it's a real crap show because you have to sometimes crack lines going to the fuel injectors to get the air of the system. These ones purge themselves. So in a perfect world, this tractor should start. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh oh. So what we'll do there is just let it pump a little bit more fuel through the system and we'll try to get it started. I can hear bubbles going back in the fuel tank. So there's still a little bit of air in the system. So it's not a big deal. Sometimes if just give a little bit of throttle, makes me feel better. Give it a go. There we go. Fuel filters are changed and it starts no problem. What's wrong, baby? Okay guys, good morning. Today is Monday morning. We last left off working on the ADARs. We have not made any progress on that. Um, we're hoping to get them done today. We took a bit of a break from that and did some snowmobiling, which was so much fun, except now my body hurts so, so bad. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's time to get ready to work. Maybe a 15. Okay. What's the winner? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I was literally about to say that. You want to lock them off? No. Bring me the rod chip. Oi! Well, the drain hole's there. That's the one for the engine. This is the one for the transmission. Starting to slow down. Yay! It's so hard to see it. Okay guys, we have finished the hydraulic oil. We just filled it back up. And now we are going to empty out the engine oil. That's the old filter and we're about to put in the new one. So, we just gotta blow out the rod. Tractor number one, done. Okay guys, we just finished up our second 8R. Um, this one we didn't have to do quite as much to. We just changed some filters, greased it, and put a new fuel filter in it. She is good to go. 